Okay, welcome to the Deadly Sins 5th AMA. I'm Solly, and I'm here with Zora and Fana, our two founders. Uh, you guys can just say hello quickly. Hello, hello. Uh, Amy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot to go over today and a ton of questions that need to be answered. Uh, the goal is to make this 30 minutes long, hopefully. Uh, so we hope you know about the goal of our project by now. I believe somebody asked us, so we can answer that during the AMA. We don't want to uh, overcrowd the introduction too, too much. But a brief summary. So our goal here at The Deadly Sins is to create one of the premier destinations in the Cardano metaverse known as Hell's House. So if you have taken a look at our roadmap, you'll see a small portion of what we have planned. We have a lot more there. And we're a couple weeks away from Mint and already have uh, staking and 3D modelers in place for post-mint. So we'll be able to get our plans um, in the production phases soon. And a couple quick announcements before we get into the AMA. Wallet submissions are now open, so you guys can go, if you're whitelisted, you can go to the Submit Wallet channel and submit your wallet address that you're going to be minting from. Um, the second announcement is whitelist changes. We're going to be doing a whitelist raffle. So we're going to be giving out six whitelist spots a day to those that are over level 12 and have the raffle roll. So if you're over level 12, not whitelisted, and do not have the raffle roll, please open a support ticket. We'll give it to you. I will be holding these whitelist giveaways in the giveaways channel and winners will receive whitelist automatically. If you haven't received it and you won, you can open a support ticket. Uh, there are also a couple other methods to receive whitelists now. You can interact, or we've actually had these for a while, but uh, just something to take note of. Uh, if you interact with our server announcements, with our tweets, and if you're just holding genuine conversations in the general chat, and uh, us, so the team members or mods take note of that, we may grant you whitelists. So just try to uh, get on that, and I hope I covered like the small announcements. I'll pass it off to Zora now. Yeah, no, that covered covered it well. Um, we have been giving out some whitelist spots when we see nice, genuine conversations. So that is something you should definitely try keeping uh, mind in these last three weeks if you're not whitelist already. Uh, just some updates that we're getting along with. If you check the bank log channel where we do all our transactions and let the community know where money's being spent, um, we have got uh, bot, bot implementations from CNFT tools. We've, we've been working with them on that. So that's where our whitelist bots came through for submitting addresses. Uh, and we got holder roles coming up soon after. So basically, as we mint, um, dependent on the traits or the amount of nfts you hold in your wallet you'll get certain roles and you'll see what we get, what we have planned for after that because we have some interesting events based on the roles you have which we think hasn't been done as good as we are going to uh, produce for our community we're also going to have some sale tracking bots one for our discord channel one for twitter so that's, that was all incorporated into the sale you see in the bank log channel um, we're also been getting verified on places and I don't want to say just yet because um, we're going to announce in the next day or so like a big tweet about it or something, but it is very hype and I think you guys will like that. Um, we've been sorting out GLB files for things such as our phantom key and our tokenomics coin for our staking reward. So we've been um, getting starting on the concept art and sending off to our designers to 3D model them. Um, it's cause I guess um, it's important that we get those things ready for soon after Mint. We want to keep the ball rolling, uh, as we always have been. Um, we've been securing some really good partnerships behind the scenes, um, one of which is so that staking can be implemented very quickly and efficiently, um, and we can produce really great utility for our holders really fast. Um, we have other huge collabs coming up soon. In the next coming days and a uh, week or so so keep your eyes peeled for that and um there's actually some questions we have in the chat that i can also answer with terms of when these utilities are coming etc and what, what we're going to be bringing to you guys in a future post mint um the last thing i want to say before we answer some questions is i think it's quite uh important to say that our current roadmap 
really is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we want to be doing long term. So think of an ice, like a huge iceberg with just the tip of it coming out of the water and the the rest of it is just going to ensue after. And we're really excited to share and carry out these plans with you guys. I think that's the little bit of updates to keep you guys in the loop for that, for the stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, let's some questions. Yeah, so we're uh, going to answer the questions that are in the AMA channel, or AMA comments channel first, and then we're going to open the floor to those of you that are in the call. Uh, so our first question is, what makes the Deadly Sins different from projects that are trying to build similar things in the metaverse? Also, how do we plan on rewarding holders early on? Would you like to answer that or myself? You can go for it. Oh, sorry. Is it the question was how do we differentiate essentially? Yes, basically. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think we really are differentiating in terms of the um, quality and community-based aspects of what we're building, um, because I, there really isn't another project building on other metaverses which will have the amount and level of community games we're thinking of providing for our community it really is and it also is going to be very beneficial to our holders in this space and a lot of perks and utilities that you'll find very cool really early on when we when we implement these things so that is something that uh differentiates us in terms of uh other people building or metaverse projects i think we really are ahead of it with the quality of our builders as well that we've been contracted with there was a second part of the question what, what was that again sorry how do we rule how do we plan on rewarding holders early on? Oh, plan on rewarding holders early on. Yeah. Okay, so the staking implementation, at the moment, we're estimating it to take exactly one month. Um, so you're thinking, oh, God, what am I going to do in that month if I'm not a phantom getting all these benefits early on? There still will be um, rewards you can get in this month time period before we implement staking, which would be to do with these trait dependent roles. So by holding, you will be getting certain roles where you'll be enabled to take part in these competitions that we're going to be holding where and giveaways. So there's going to be a lot of um, community aspects you can do in this month leading up to the staking rewards, which we'll be implementing around that one month mark after. So it will be quite quickly. Um, yeah, we move on to the Very next quickly. question. Yeah. Uh, question two, are we going to have Sin avatars used in the metaverse? Sin avatars? Yeah. Well, it, I guess it depends on the metaverse because um, we have to then 3D model them, etc. And each metaverse is different. We do, I do plan um, that to get some 3D modeling for our interactive characters. And a great suggestion I had before actually is dependent on the NFT you hold, you could choose one of them in your wallet to appear as. So that so that would be a thing of, um, I guess, creating recreating all our traits based on all the uh, sinners we, ha we have in our collection. So that is something that I think we will implement. Um, maybe not for all, but for some at least, that, that would allow us to do so. Question uh, three. Are we going to have a derivative project? Derivative. Oh, so like a, a carry on. Um, we're not having a season two, it, but we are having a uh, a, ne a following drop, which phantoms will get a free airdrop of the day before um, of the big mint. Um, so we do have something of equal importance to the deadly sins, which we think will will show in due time. We have a very interesting way we think we want to go about this. So um, I, I would keep your eyes peeled as we progress post mint. There, there is going to be things, and it's not going to be like some projects who are like, all right, uh, we're this project. All right, we're going to do a season two and just change it very slightly and not add much utility. Like, no, we're adding a lot to this. So um, uh, arguably, like as much if not more than the deadly sins. So it definitely. We, it does reward you being a holder and being a phantom going into these future derivatives. Yeah. Hey, uh, fourth question. Any plans for how one of ones will be distributed via Mint? 
there are three questions in this one, so I'll, I'll just okay. read out one. Each mm -hmm. Um, as far as one of ones, how we're going to be distributing them, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be random. So you don't have to, you don't get an increased chance of getting a one of one by minting ten, except for the fact that you you're minting ten. Like we don't increase the percentage chance of getting a one of one just because you're minting ten. Or sorry, six. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then minting <laughs> details. Oh, okay. Um, like as Solly said, uh, it's equal chance for one of ones. I don't think we want to scale it differently. I think I want to. We want to give people even who mint one, um, that same chance per transaction to get them. Um, in terms of how the minting service is going to work, we are in contact with the Cardano Crocs Club. So I'm creating all the uh, unique image generations, records, rarities, and metadata. And what I'm doing is I'm sending this to the developer at the Cardano Croc Club, who has held the mincing service for other projects, which have been all been very smooth. And um, he'll be holding the minting process for us on our website. So essentially, it will be it will tr try, try our best to avoid any bots getting any space because that is something that the space in general is, is trying to tackle. It's impossible to avoid a hundred percent but we are going to make sure that it is as organic for the um people who get spots as possible which is why we recommend you get those pre-sale spots because um, it guarantees you those positions there'll be no bots and the um, you can avoid having to worry about the competitiveness of the public side so yeah it'll be held through our website through the cardano Crocs club minting service where an address is going to be there after a few clicks. So yeah, that's how we're going to be holding it. No Discord address link or just Discord link going to the Mint site. And the third part of that question, how will you prevent scam activity? Scam. Oh, okay. Do you, I, I think, yeah. does he mean like uh, post, post mint people like trying to pull the wool over people's eyes and stuff? Yes, I, um, I'm pretty sure that's uh, what he means by it. Um, I th yeah. I mean, I, 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 from in that case, we are going to be making an announcement, letting everybody know not to answer any DMs. Everything is going to be run on our site, so any wallet addresses that are posted, links, not to trust them. Everything's going to be in the, in the announcements channel on our Discord and on our official yeah. website. Uh, obviously, there's only so much we can do. Like, we can make that announcement. We plan on making a Mint video as well, explaining things. But at the end of the day, it's like you have free agency. If you decide to fall for that, there's, like, nothing we can really do about it. But we will do our best to make sure that people are aware of how the Mint is being run and not to answer any DMs. Uh, it happens to the best yeah. of us, though. So, yeah. I also would say that if we notice any scams going on, we would make people aware of them too, so just to avoid people from, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this question's for Fana. Ooh, okay. What are your thoughts on in real life art pieces with like full body demons? Um maybe even like your own art pieces being sold in the interactive store in Hell's House or on the merch shop or in the merch shop, sorry. Um, yeah, so me and Zora were kind of talking about this um, the other day, about perhaps having, um, like, my prints um, set up in the house, house uh, merchandise shop, um, in case people would be interested in seeing other pieces of what that I've done, having different artwork with the demons, like, as Bolly said, um, have a full body one. I think that would be a cool way to to other people to support um, project and show off the artwork a bit. Maybe having like like a commission um, set up in place, like the demons that you've minted could be um, like a commission um, that demon and have like a full body of it, kind of thing. I think that would be quite cool. A cool idea, like having your own demon, like a full body demon. Your own demon. That makes sense. That's but cool. yeah, I think. 
Sorry, I interrupted. Oh no, I think the <laughs> question's all good. I think it's a great idea, honestly. Okay, so, uh... question six. Liquidity pool for this project token? Uh, liquidity pool? Um, so, like I said, we were talking with the, the partnership, which we're going to be doing our staking with. We will be on decentralized exchanges where you'll be able to actually trade this token potentially before um, our staking is actually introduced. So you can just get, get some in, involved beforehand. Um, we will be uh, adding some of our own ADA from me and Fana's side uh, to, keep, to give the token life, it, quite a substantial amount as well, actually. Um, so it, it will be a lot of uh, liquidity in the token and it will be able to trade it um, before we even implement staking. And we'll uh, release the name and uh, sites we're trading on in due time. Perfect. Question eight. Uh, what are some plans that the team has that can make this project a real long-term thing? Ooh, okay. So um, that, that, that is interesting because we have our... Well, as we said before, those derivative project um, that we're going to be bringing in, which you'll see how it's going to create such a cool community aspect to this, which we can carry on for a long time. Also, I feel like we have um, positioned ourselves really well in the market because as the metaverse space progresses, we can adapt with it. And I really think we'll, we're going to be the, the like top of the market in terms of that community aspects building on these uh, metaverse lands um, because I really think we have some amazing talent and can really um, outshine a lot of uh, competitors, to be honest. So you, you'll be able to see as we, as we show proof of work and um, stay relevant in the metaverse space. Another question, will there be an extra benefit for people holding, let's say, 10 plus sins for future drops, like automatic whitelist or an airdrop, etc.? Yeah, like uh, we have different holder dependent roles. I believe there will be it's four or five um, uh, different types of holding roles. I, I, th I yes, there will be um, if, if you hold. Um, there a certain amount, or even just one. We haven't figured out exactly how we want the future whitelist to go down, but it will be to do with holders. So we are, and maybe um, there'll be different whitelist tiers as well. So maybe by holding one, you get the the normal one, and by being a whale, you get this extra tier. We'll we'll, we'll figure that out later on the time, but you will get your benefits for holding, and we will make sure it's fair. Don't worry about that. Uh, question numero nine. Are you gonna rug Ooh. us? Hard hitting <laughs> question right uh, there. Yeah, quite, quite, quite a rough question, but uh, no, we're we're full profile docs. Myself and Amy, we're the owners, and we were full profile docs by the When Mint podcast by those AMAs, like full ID and everything. You can see my face on my Twitter, um, and it, when when you think about, oh, where is who, who's a person I have to trust this money with? Um, I guess um, I'm I'm the one taking that responsibility. So knowing that I'm full profile docs and assigned something which says if we were to do anything malicious with the money, like it could be they could take it to authorities and stuff. So we position ourselves like in a very in a way because we 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 know we're just we want the best for our community and we want to secure your guys as well. So don't worry about that. We we've already took the measures to make sure you guys feel safe with everything to do with that. So you guys are safe with us. What metaverses are currently on your radar? Oh, I like this question because one's popped up way more in the recent days to me. Uh, so obviously we said we we're going to buy the Pavia metaverse estate, which we still will do very early on. Um, we're also going to be building on World of Cardano for their Unreal Engine 5 metaverse. We'll be building on Voxel for Boss Cat Rocket Club, um, Rocket Estate, um, and the one that's really perked my interest, which uh, I really have fallen in love with, is Cornucopias. That well, they're, what they're doing there is so ahead of the game, and in a lot of senses, it's really like what I would imagine 
the metaverse in a few years from now. So seeing what, how fast they're prog progressing and stuff, I, I kind of post mint. I think it would be all, in the community's best interest. We get a really good plot of land with some of the royalties. Like I, I would before before making that purchase, I would raise it with the phantoms and show the plot of land and go from there. But I really do think you guys should check out Cornucopias. It and the late their latest video on their um, metaverse release and what they're doing there. The flying domes and the interactive and the mining, like wow, it's crazy. That's, that's definitely one that is right up on my radar. So yeah. Perfect. Uh, next question: When will you announce Phantom Benefit? Or announce the Phantom Benefit program just after the mint. Also hoping to see a collab with Salty Sea. <laughs> um. Well, so in our deadly paper, we've already announced the um, brief of the Phantom benefit program um so that is the airdrop of the phantom card there, there being like a monthly 25 percent of royalties payout split between these phantom members exclusive perks and house house a private room with exclusive giveaways um and airdrops and um access to the phantom lounge in discord um advanced access to information regarding all future ventures so that'll be on our website utility that'll being like a bi-weekly or three every three weeks there being a newsletter with also um a per key um uh role so you can click something on that part of the website with the phantom access and you get a reward such as ada uh, a whitelist spot with a collab project xp maybe some merchandise and also a free mint from future collections so yeah um that's our uh, phantom vip details um just to sum them up um, there, it, there will probably be more of them that uh, unveil as we progress with the project, as I said earlier, with the whole tip of the iceberg thing. But um, when are we thinking of doing these? Well, the airdrop of the Phantom card, I want to do it two weeks after our mint, so very quick. Um, and then when am I getting those royalties? Uh, well, we'll try, we'll try to do it one month after our mint, so an extra two weeks um, after the airdrop, we'll be hoping to... Uh, find a fixed date where we do like an almost payday um, for all the uh, distributions and log it in the bank log channel. And all the parks of Hell's House and other th things come in due time, which I'll keep you guys um, up to date with. I, I really don't want to take things too long. I want to keep the steam rolling. So you'll be kept up to date with that. Uh, here is, this is a really good question actually. Do you guys have any plans on how Deadly Sins or CNFT in general, I guess, will gain mainstream attention? What would be your main selling point? Sorry, could you repeat that question one more time? Oh, sure. Do you Sorry. guys have any plans on how you'll make deadly the Deadly Sins, um, like how you'll give it mainstream attention? And what would mainstream your selling point be? attention? Yeah, okay, I'm assuming so this means like, um, I'm not sure if he just means in the CNFT space or in general, like finding celebrities because, you know, like uh, ETH NFTs are mainstream. Like all celebrities know about them. A ton of celebrities own like four apes. Uh, in general, I meant. Oh, just in general. Okay. Just within the space, right? No, not within the CNFT space, but uh, just like Ethereum. Or how, how would we? How would On that CNFT stack, stack up? Is by uh, again, we against... to... Hello. <laughs> um, sorry, I just have to mute whoever that was. Uh, so another way we're staying um, mainstream is by um, making sure. Um, we keep our partnerships and collaborations coming in with pro with talent we see, and also keeping show showing our proof of work as we progress, making sure everyone knows about us in the community aspect, growing our community in such a way that it's being spread across. People are like, oh, have you been to Hell's House here? You should really check it out. Like, oh, you should become a holder to get these benefits in Hell's House. So yeah, there is um a lot that could be um we can do to make sure we stay relevant and i'm i'm already organizing this to be honest um solly is are you still there 
Yeah, yeah. Um, it, you cut out at um some point. So I'm not sure if it kept recording or not. Uh, no, no, it's still recording. Twenty five minutes in. Okay. Uh, at least, as long as it's still recording, it's it, your voice cut out, and I just took over. If that was okay, I don't yeah, really no, know what happened. Fine. Awesome. Uh, um. So many questions. Okay, what is the purpose? We'll just of the choose the best ones. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> We'll choose the. We'll get some voice questions in as well. We'll try and make this around forty minutes, okay. and choose the best one for the Ada. Do you have any interesting news to announce before the mint process? If yes, can you give us a hint? Um, before the before the mint process. Uh, well, I guess I could say some of our really big collaborations. Um, coming up, that's definitely like some big ones that you'll be like, well, how do they do that? Um some partnerships we're securing um some youtube promotion yeah I, I i think it's more we're in those final two to three weeks of before our mint so it's more about exposure now everything that we're pre providing comes right after mint so in, we're not really going to be announcing stuff like future ventures before we mint it just doesn't make sense so right now it's about getting that exposure and getting those collaborations to show we're a serious project. I think that would help summarize it. Um, next one. Yeah. How difficult is it to create Hell's House and when do you think it will be ready? Um, so ob obviously our core team is four of us. I do development, so he has lots of community, Nats handles professional stuff. Amy does the digital art. Metaverse is different. Um, and this is where we have contracted builders for different ones. We have, um, I have contracted very talented ones at that too. So for Pavia, we have um, 3Dverse. Um, he has worked with Pavia itself and also is on the board team for Unbounded Earth as their like a uh, designer. So we got a very impressive um, person for our uh, Unity. Um, and then we have Nala from Boss Cat Rocket Club, who created all the voxel stuff. She's doing our Hell's House on the Boss Cat real estate. Very talented. Um, and then we have a project that will be it, we're, we're partnering with behind the scenes called Speak Throne. They will be launching soon. You'll see them in our partnership channel. Um, they they are a bunch of extremely talented individuals um, creating stuff on Unreal Engine Five. So um, what metaverse can we use with them and working with them for? Well, there will be World of Cardano and also Cornucopius. So you'll see two lots from them and we're working very closely with them. I had a call with them today and that's one of many calls. So you'll be seeing them in, in the, the near future. So yeah, um, oh, in terms of how long this will take, um, well, it really depends. I. We'll be showing you sneak peeks as we go along and making sure you guys aren't in the dark. Um, I estimate we'll have like some some full builds um, hopefully this year. So, but in terms of them being interactive, um, it would m most likely be s some point in 23. And that's because um, I'm going to be working with some people with object interaction. So it's all great and all of them uh making these uh builds for us but there's back end coding so for example you click on an object and it does this animation or brings the the let's say merch shop up or anything so um, so there's a lot of back end coding which will be involved too so uh, hopefully builds by this year and interactions some point next year and we'll keep you guys really updated with that and make sure you still get those benefits as we're going along and keeping the community involved so I mean, all the rest of the or all the remaining questions are at the very bottom. Uh, so I don't know if there's anything that stands out that you'd like to answer, or whether you'd like to. Open um, up let me have a look. Um, I'll see if there's one more question. Yeah. Uh, talk about the floor price and stuff. Uh, I think, like as any project, we we we're quite. Well, we are quite bullish ourselves on our project. We think it will have a pump. They will like any project have some paper hands, those will be swept up by our strong supporters. And I really think with our proof of work, we'll, we'll moon. 
like I, I, I I'm very bullish on the deadly sins, no bias. <laughs> um, do you keep any interest? In that? I think that is all the questions, isn't there? Yeah. Um, wait, is there any other community that matches the energy and engagement of the deadly sins? I haven't found one. Um, in terms of uh engagement with inter with announcements and stuff, there are projects with. And some projects with similar engagements with that, but in terms of organic chatter in our Discord, we really are, I think, leading. And it would be apart from maybe cornucopias, like we really are like being talked about quite a lot. So I think we're um, definitely up there. Um, now I guess we could open the floor to any um, questions over mic if anyone has some. Taking in mind uh, the twenty Ada for an, a good question. So um, that's two people I muted. Let me just unmute them just because they're mics from before. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, feel free to ask. Anyone on the mic? We've got about 20 of you in here. So if, it's okay if you guys don't want to speak. You just listen. Um, give it a few seconds. Well, that's totally okay. Um, hi. Uh, hi. Oh, how are you? Hello. I'm, I'm doing well. Yourself? Hi, Sora. How are you? It's CryptoBone over here. Oh, hey. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for the yeah. YouTube video. That was, it was a real no, great one. Thank you. It's okay, bro. It's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I, I think your project has a lot of potential. Uh, me, an investor in the crypto space since 2017, I, I've seen <laughs> quite a lot of projects and I, I'm like, damn, I think this is. As you said, I'm not trying to shield anything, but bro, it's a good break. <laughs> Anyways, I, I've got a question about the token liquidity. Are you planning to like, uh, what are the taxes are you considering to like uh, supply the token? Miniswap, maybe? Uh, yeah, Miniswap, Muesli Swap, with like the, the bad, the best uh, decentralized exchanges. Okay. We won't sure. be putting ourselves on like every single one. We're just putting ourselves on the main ones that we think uh, set up well for sure yeah also about the metaverses you've mm -hmm. got world of cardano pavia and cornucopia right in your like aim yes and boss cat real estate nice That's some those nice four i think so too we, we picked well i think yeah definitely um yeah just wanted to uh, clear that out and uh, congrats <laughs> to the team again i think thank this you. is going to be a nice project for sure <laughs> thank you um uh, thank you for being involved with our community. We hopefully get you you'll get a phantom soon. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully level twenty four, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, level twenty four right now. Oh, so close. Okay. So close. Yeah. So close, bro. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you how, no worries. Have a nice day. Um, Solly, how long have we been going on for? Uh, thirty three minutes. Zaya reposted his question, so I'm assuming he really wants us to answer it. Okay. Well, keep us to the last question, then choose the the winner then. Um, okay. Post Mint, planning to collab with a project around the same stage and phase of the roadmap as us, um, so you can help each other out and re reach the roadmap and go possibly even add another phase and step into each other's roadmap. Um, well, I guess each project works at different rates because they have different things that they want to accomplish in different time frames and different rates of work and what they're trying to accomplish. Uh, with our, I guess the best way to uh, kind of sum that up is we have partners who we'll be working alongside with where uh, where things may overlap when we work together on social events or stuff like that and we'll help them out with certain things and they help us out with their certain things so we could definitely incorporate our partners into our roadmap and also our uh, current um, roadmap like I said is the tip of the iceberg it, you see at the end where it says future ventures dot 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 like there's so much that comes after that it isn't just a um oh here's a future venture but that's it like we have so much planned after that and we have a whole team board talking about how we're going to do that we have our own phases we're working in uh behind the scenes so definitely um keep your eyes peeled as we progress we are going to shine among the other projects in my opinion ah no worries um good luck Okay, um, I think we've done a good job answering those questions, don't you think? Yeah, 34 minutes, pretty solid. Yeah, I've just got to think of a winner. Um, 
which questions i think was the best one are you gonna it's probably spawners one? with the, the oh that one <laughs> yeah no uh mm. so i'm just reading through them there was one i think i think brolly's question honestly with uh fana i think that was oh, a really yeah. nice question yeah yeah I think I think that's the one we award the twenty ADA to this time. I'm reading through the other questions now. There were some good ones. I will be awarding XP to everyone who asked questions. So don't worry if I if I missed you, just open a support ticket and we can give you that XP. But yeah, I think uh, Broly. That was a nice question from him. So I think we'll ask to be the winner for this week. So thank you for um, joining in on our fifth AMA. Uh, I've had a lovely time talking to you guys, and I'm really excited for the coming weeks with. Um, well, our mint coming up, so big day's coming. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>